Hello everybody. So here we are with uh, second section of code explanation of PSO algorithm. So we first we study parameter setting. The next we are going to study the initialization. So in the initialization part, we first came across the tick. This function is used to calculate the uh, elapsed time for uh, a code execution. And after that, we need to write talk when the program receives to this line. Uh, it understands that it should calculate the uh, time elapsed and will write it down for us at uh, command window. So uh, we will address it later. Uh, here we first are going to define a, a structure. So this structure has three different branches. Uh, the first branch is the pose which can, which must contain in the future the um, the uh, position of our particles and next is going to be cost and then after that we are going to define velocity so each pos each particle in our algorithm must has p different positions different costs and different velocities so we need to predefine it so in order to increase the speeding of our code we should predefine variables it helps to speed up our uh, our code running so this is uh, this is a method for uh, speeding up your coding and then the next uh, after uh, after defining an empty variable so an empty variable uh, is a, a structure which is a like tree has different branches and three. here we have defined three branches for it uh, each uh, f at first step it's uh, they are empty so uh, each particle has uh, has to have these um, these elements so we are going to use repmat uh, function which is uh, defined in MATLAB uh, to repeat this matrix uh, for to the number of uh, particles we have uh, the first step in particles from optimization is going to randomly initialize our variable so the random initialization happens here in this loop uh, from uh, i is from 1 to the number of particles the next we are going to devote uh, each particle a random number between lower bound and upper bound so it's going to obtain a position after that we are going to fitness function and evaluate the fitness function value for that position and after that the velocity which is first step we are going to set it to zero the particles obtained here we store it in a variable by the name b particle and after that we are going to find the minimum amount uh, which uh, which uh, is stored in particle dot cost so the minimum cost of uh, particles uh, are going to find out so we will find the index the value and the index uh, respectively you see here uh, so uh, the index is going to be used to uh, find out uh, the particles position and velocity so and the store it in a variable by the name g particle g particle we have defined here is the same as global uh, uh, global uh, uh, global best global best uh, of the particle so this particle uh, which is going to be stored in G particle variable contains the best particle among the whole uh, global uh, global of the uh, particles uh, we are going to sign so this is the initialization part